America, as a Christian nation, has led, for the most part, world missions in the 18th, 19th, and 20th century. Is there hope for America? The hope for America is the church and the gospel of Jesus Christ. And to the extent that it has the liberty and freedom to express itself, Many American missionaries have traveled parts of the known world to take love in the gospel of Jesus to the hurting in Africa, Asia, South America, India, and Europe. But that America is at the crossroads and in need of a new spiritual campus and a turning back to God if she is to survive the future. Her heritage is almost wiped out if men and women don't rise up to pray for America. I believe in the church in America. Let's rise up, let's do our part, let's make a difference, let's come together. This is much bigger than each of our individual ministries. We need to come together and have one voice, a united voice. Even in a Christian country, America is becoming the fast-growing mission field in the world behind China and India, needing God's intervention calling for a spiritual awakening and reformation. Does Jesus still love America? Is Jesus still saving souls? Yes. Can every Christian be a part of healing America, loving America, praying for America, and reaching America? You can go back to the New Testament church where uh, they were persecuted for their faith. Yet under those conditions in the new church, as well as China and other areas in the world today, the church flourishes. A national call to every leader in Christians to do the work of ministry to save America for Jesus before it's too late. So we have to realize that even though sometimes reconciliation doesn't happen immediately, the hope is it will happen. And if we don't give up hope, well then we'll see it probably in our lifetime. There's one question we most certainly will be asked in the future if we do nothing to save America. Where were we when this great nation was falling off into total decline, moral decay, spiritual bankruptcy? The Save America is placed in the hands of awakened believers who will reach America, love America, pray for America, and bring healing to this nation. Because we have the responsibility and duty to champion the cause of Christ by advancing the kingdom of God through making disciples and declaring the gospel of Jesus Christ. The future of America depends on those who still see Jesus as the savior of this nation, not a man, not a system, and they are willing to lose it all to save America. The struggle to save America is not for one man or ministry or church. Right now, it's for every believing Christian, everyone reaching someone for God in every community, city, state, and nation.